starting from the funerary inventory of especially rich graves. And those reconstructions usually carry a, a label about either the social status of the man or either their ethnic compartments, or even both the like in the case shown here, a uh, high rank Germanic woman. And starting from this kind of reconstruction, there are debates about station of a certain population or another, about increasing costing, etc. Let's see what the situation is in our study area in uh, lower than in 6th, 7th century. The first big problem, there are no cemeteries. It's one single notable exception, uh, the Commission Cemetery from Sarata Montello is still unpublished. However, from the brief reports published so far, we know that there are extremely rare association of objects inside one grave. <coughs> the general rule being one grave, one object, or nothing. So, forgot about the custom of death. Let's see if such in settlements we can find something about custom of the living ones. So, we have different kinds of artifacts, like Hebrews with the stem, okay. um, like Byzantine type bottles, for both examples showing the source influence from an influence from an uh, empire, from the uh, Roma, Red Roman Empire or Byzantine Empire. We have different types of optics, like one of double shield or this fragment of human mask decorated optic, suggesting another influence, if not a nomadic one. Some like uh, the same like in the case of optics with either bird heads or fish tail, with more of functional roles hanging something from the belt. More decorated and more problematic are hopes. Both with fibulas, also called digitated fibulas. Some of them being probably originating either from the Denim, either from Mazuria, but some of them being produced in the East. But all, and all of them having uh, their starting point in German and both fibulas. Um, generally, we have a wide range of um, fashion objects, but extremely few exemplars of each and even fewer association inside the settlement. So in bringing to this question another category of findings, the moons. It's true, more probably nobody wears moons, but those tools produce a custom object and uh, have engraved them, engraved on them, on them, either the complete image of the object, mm -hmm. either the components of it in case of more elaborate and more complicated ones. Uh, surprisingly, oh. surprisingly, in the lower Danube region, one type of wood is extremely numerous, the one for producing cross shaped artifacts. Generally accepted idea is that those moods producing the, are producing pectoral crosses, pendants. So, from this point of view, we have a clue about the uh, uh, empire influence where pectoral crosses was. Uh, were in fashion at, the, at that time. Probably it's true for some of the moons, but for another, for others, especially those with opening ring, ring, based on similarities of shape and dimension, maybe it's better to follow another idea, that of producing cross-shaped fibulas. In this case, we think another influence coming from a Germanic area and a different fashion influence. So basically, we have a, a as I say, a wide range of objects and influence coming from everywhere. East, south, west, and north, that really complicate the story. So here are the moons that produce uh, objects in the Hawaiian location, let's say, area. Some uh, examples from the, the Slavic area, and we see the difference. One is for bursets, uh, another one is for rings, making and patterns, feelings. And here is the situation of, of, of the objects from the Colombian area. And we see that um, Slavic and uh, East, uh, East and Slavic uh, and West are uh, um, mixed here. Uh, different influences mean necessarily different costume. 
Uh, and we are not talking about differentiation from the point of view of different type of both formulas, for example. No, we are linking differentiation uh, deriving from the position of the object in your costume. For example, studying the position of the cast fibula with the first term in the upper grades, the probable uh, role is when the smaller fibula is in the inferior part of the closing, while the bigger ones uh, appear on the shoulder next to the type fibula. But in this example, knowing that from our cabana is coming, as we previously showed uh, some influence, uh, can be a reliable source for a costume of people from lower than more probably, probably not, or at least can uh, have the value of what if. Of course, we cannot end uh, uh, our presentation not trying to put a question sign about um, how the uh, uh, were, but who not, a, not how they, uh, they were, but who, from the general point of view, these people, were these people. And we have some clues that, complic uh, that complicated objects like those composing uh, brain or earrings are not properly indicated the woman accessory, while bad uh, optics can suggest uh, a man custom. But this needs further investigation. Or um, but not of here. According to a pretty new idea, that these some artifacts are not for broken in a abandoned house, but present a closing deposit, almost a funerary one. So it seems that the living ones uh, have a poorer costume than the dead ones, at least based on the discovery from the settlements. But in fact, based on the ancient selection of the artifacts, we surely not have all the parts of the costume. Reconstruction. reconstruction, even partially, being impossible. So, returning to the graves, we see that the deaths are winning into the battle, having more arguments for discussion about the construction of a new costume. But what the archaeologists construct? What kind of costume? A daily life costume, a mortuary one, a social costume, or neither funerary graves being only parts uh, of a complete costume. 